artillery to this audio. So this week I'm going to talk to you about plugin management. If you have a lot of plugins like I do, for example, I bought the Waves Mercury bundle years ago. So what this means that I have a lot of plugins that I really never use. And if you want to get rid of some of these, what you can do is that you go to the plugin folder, which is in your Macintosh computer, library, audio, plugins. And here we have VST and VST3 folder. And what you can do is that you can put these different plugins into folders. So for example, if I would not have done this, I would I could put the Transify to, let's say, to the Dynamics folder. But Transify is a bad example because it does it by itself. But for example, if I would put all the ICANN multimedia things in folder, they would appear in the list. So if I make an instrument track, we can see that here the ICANN multimedia stuff are in these folders. So that's one way to do plugin management. The second one is that if you have a lot of them and you know that you never use them, but you just have them because they're uh, part of a bundle. So what you can do is that you go to the plugin information window and here we have a list of all the plugins you have. And for example, you can see that I have disabled all the surround plugins because I just never use surround for anything and I don't have any listening environment for that. So I have disabled them by unchecking this checkbox here. But for example, let's see, if I want to disable, say, okay, for example, here we have a lot of paths. I only use the analyzer and the frequency. So I'll just disable all the others. So what we do is that we go to plugin information. And if I would use a newer version, I think there would be a search, but we just have to do this manually now. So here we have the paths. We have the analyzer. Let's remove the mono and stereo and meters and position and then what we do is that we click update it takes a few seconds and the list is updated and now if we go to the analyzer list we can only see the analyzer and frequency anyway i hope you enjoyed this quick demonstration if you have any questions or comments please write them down in the comments below thank you for watching and make good music